I want to talk about Joe Rogan and this whole controversy, and I want to say it, I want to go into this as clearly, as carefully, and as, you know, straightforward as possible. I feel like people and the media are getting mad at Joe Rogan for the same thing over and over again every couple of months. Like, the last time I remember is when he had COVID, and then now, I want to say last week, he uh, put out a video on Instagram, which, you know, he comes out, he's like, hello, friends, which when he starts a sentence with hello, friends, you know that an apology, something is going to be acknowledged, something is going to be said that's going to, like, raise eyebrows, you know, in terms of, like, his fans and people who just straight up don't like him. And so I want to go into this with, you know, level-headed, realistic, and okay, you could say I'm biased. I've seen his podcast. I, you know, enjoy when he has comedians on. I enjoy when he has people I like. He has actors on. He has a bunch of people on that I like. He's had Robert Downey Jr. on. He's had Post Malone on. He's had Travis Barker on. You know, I'm not one of those people that it's just like, oh, Joe Rogan, because, you know, you know, fuck Joe Rogan, because this and that. It's like, if you're on a show, like, even if I've never heard of the show before, if, you, if my fave is on it, I'll watch. Now, keep in mind, this is just my observation based on whatever I have have seen of Joe Rogan, and I'm going to be completely honest and unbiased about this, because people from Twitter are probably going to see this and be like, oh yeah, fuck this guy, he listens to Joe Rogan, like, oh, well, imagine listening to Joe Rogan. Like, shut up. <laughs> like, you know, shut up. And just, like, think for yourself. Joe Rogan has been in the news because he just had... I don't know if this was recent or if this is just, like, a thing that, you know, keeps repeating. He's had people on that seem to um, have thoughts and opinions on COVID and just, like, public health in general that people don't agree with. People want him deplatformed. They want him off of Spotify. They want him out. They don't want him on the platform. Which, it's just kind of crazy to me. I just don't understand why a comedian who has a podcast, who talks shit, who's just like... Because literally, that's what he does. At least from what I've seen. All he does is talk shit with guests and stuff. Like, I'm not forget all the health stuff. When he has, like, regular people... Think before COVID. I've seen a bunch of the ones, like, before COVID. And he's just talking shit. Yeah, he says stupid stuff. But at the end of the day, when did we as a society lose the ability to think freely and for ourselves? And if we don't like something or we think something is dumb or stupid, you know, just turn it off. But instead, everything has to be like, oh yeah, get this guy off this, get this guy off that, he doesn't deserve a platform, get this guy out of here, he's a fucking piece of shit, he's uh, this and that and the other. Like, it's just kind of, you know, eyebrow raising to me. It's kind of scary, especially with all this cancel culture stuff going on. Like, I could easily, you know, this is this podcast is 27 episodes in. Who's to say, you know, if I'm still doing this in 10 years, you know, somebody might pull something from, pull something out of context even from this podcast, from old episodes, and bring it up 10 years later and try to, like, assuming that's still a thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't agree with the whole cancel culture thing. I agree that there should be accountability. People should have should be held account accountable for their actions and the things they say. And as long as it comes from a genuine place, which is, you know, is seldom. <laughs> <laughs>